What's up, you legends? The Fabled Storm here. I just wanted to say uh, I have a different little thing going on in this episode. Uh, if you like this content, like and subscribe. We're going to go ahead and get into it and uh, go play Dark Souls so you can suffer as well. See you at the end. Peace. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to The Fabled Storm. And tonight's going to be a very different uh, sort of thing. So this is my Dark Souls playthrough where I actually turned my camera off because I got incredibly pissed off. Um... I guess just because it's so, and I understand completely that's the point of these games, is that you feel like you've accomplished something when you, um, beat the game, or beat a section of it. You get past something that, that, uh, that hurts you before. Uh, but also it gets tedious to the point where it's like, well, I've played the same section a thousand times and I just really don't want to do that anymore. So, uh, I didn't actually even have a video on this. I had nothing going up. Oh no, I died. Oh no, heaven. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Yeah, no. <laughs> um. So, I decided that just for entertainment purposes, uh, I was just gonna do this and just film a video over the video that I took of me playing this. Uh, me talking about it. So it's gonna be very different from the normal one and I don't have to concentrate while I talk so I can talk about anything. Literally anything. I can talk about crazy shit. Or talk about amazingly awesome stuff. Awesome sauce. I can do whatever I want when I'm recording this, but I'll try to keep it simple. So let's talk about something that I literally just found out about. Apparently in Japan, in order to sell windows to the Japanese people, uh, that sounded weird. To Japanese residents? No, I mean, it was the country of Japan. They used anime, uh, and, and made, and like in Windows 7, there was actually one that Microsoft approved and a character that was made to be a, a Windows anime character. Uh, and you get all these cool little things. Like, we don't get cool shit like that here in the US. Our stuff sucks. It's just like our cars. Huge car guy, right? And, uh... Oddly enough, I actually own a 240. Anybody who's into cars, and maybe you're into games, video games, and cars, and you'll know what that is, but... Uh... In, the, in America, we got a naturally aspirated 2.4 liter engine. In Japan, they got a turbocharged two-cylinder. Or, excuse me. A turbocharged uh, two-liter, excuse me, four-cylinder. I don't know why I would call an SR20 a two-cylinder. That would be pretty dope, though. I don't know how much power you could have unless it was like... A turbo two-stroke would be pretty dope. In a, uh, I don't know how well it would move if something is heavy. I mean, a 240 is not exactly the most heavy car either, so... I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. Don't know what you could do with that, but... No, it is a, a 2-liter 4-cylinder turbocharged engine that comes in that vehicle. But we didn't get that here. A lot of the really cool cars that come out of uh, places like Japan and then come here to the U.S., we never get the cool versions of. And there are cars you'll never see. Like, America, um, you know, people make fun of the smart car, but over in Japan, everybody drives stuff like that. They're called K-cars. Um, and they're tiny little 650cc cars. We do import them here, uh, sometimes. There are people that do like those cars, and they, uh, they go out of their way to get them imported here. But, for the most part, at this point, it would be way too expensive. Like, even the ones that are already imported here, if they were at a low cost, the people selling them still want way more than they're worth. Hey, look at me, try to sneak up on this guy. I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna get him! And I got stuck on the wall. I was probably screaming about how pissed I was about that. Well, in my head, I didn't say anything in this playthrough. Oh, look! He, he finally died, and I got a night shield. That's pretty awesome. Isn't it amazing? I shut my mouth and didn't have to talk and think uh, about the actions that I was doing and I was able to actually get somewhere and kill a guy that killed me countless times. 
I still don't know how many of these game mechanics even work. Like the one time I got it to do the thing where I snuck up behind somebody or got close to them and uh, and did like a finishing move and it killed them in a single hit. And I have no idea what I, I did to even make that happen. Now I'm sure there's a way to look it up. But when I look up stuff, it's so non-specific. Yeah, and I hate how long it takes my character to recover when one of those big attacks hurts them. There's there's many things, like what I expect to happen when I'm using the controller and what my character does don't always match up. And it's incredibly fresh, uh, uh, yeah. I was gonna say in frustrating, which is infuriating and frustrating at the same time. In frustrating. Uh, feel free to use that word if you would prefer. Um, you know, sometimes you just gotta make up your own lingo so you understand exactly uh, what you're trying to convey. Like, it's not just irritating and frustrating. It's... Well, would infrustrating be like infrastructure? It's, it's building an annoyance. That's what it is. Oh, look, and that one died this time, too. Man, I do a lot better. I mean, I probably, it's one of those things, right? Like, I play games and talk to myself, but I don't have to think about it, so I'm not really sure. It's just a stream of consciousness. It's just whatever comes out, comes out. And so, I'm never worried about it. And then, you know, I get mad about stuff. But these games, I understand that they're meant to be hard. I'll get back to the car thing in a minute. But I understand these games are meant to be difficult. I mean, it's like why you have a Give Me God of War setting on the on God of War, which I have played. But let me tell you, it definitely changes the enjoyment of the game. It's it's all for the challenge, and it's super fun. Um, well, in some way. There we go. Look at that. Have no idea how I did that. Even when I was playing, I don't know what I did to make that happen. But I somehow got behind him and was able to super kill that guy. So maybe that happened twice. I have no idea. So I'm super lost about whatever that is. For those that wanted me to play this and like these games, maybe uh, you leave a comment telling me what the hell I pressed or what I'm supposed to do. Uh, sorry, I had a scratch on me. A little bit of blood or something. I don't know. Um... It just explained to me, yeah, because look, I'm trying to be quiet, I'm trying to, to sneak up on him and make a, as little noise as possible. And I'm like, maybe it's just a regular hit move. Nope. They didn't even know I was there, and for some reason, it was just a regular move. I don't know what you have to do to get into killer, uh, killer mode. Where you become a master assassin, you just walk up behind him and stab him. Also, at this point, I have not met the, uh, the blacksmith, so I didn't even know I could upgrade weapons. And this thing annoys me. On other games, yeah, you see how long it took me to realize I needed to turn that crap off? I forget to hit OK all the time to make the, the sign go away. So it won't show me the thing on the screen. I completely forget, and then I record it for a while like this. Um, because in most games, they just go away after a while. It would be really nice if that happened. I understand that there's no changing a game that came out in... Was it 2011? Or was Dark Souls 2010? I can't remember. I think the first... I think the original said 2011, and then it said 20, uh... 2018, they made this remastered. I assume it just looks better, probably runs better. Load times are only 13 seconds between deaths. It's kind of dope. Alright, let's lure this guy out here. Ooh, you like how much leg I'm showing, guy? Oh, I know you want some. Oh, no, and there's another one I never saw coming. Wouldn't you fancy that? Now I have two guys right on my ass. I, that's not enough leg. I, I was only trying to show for the one guy. I don't need both of you. Please go away. Ew, nope. Yeah, okay, your friend, uh, I'm gonna have to charge double if it's two of you. And dead. Oh, well. Split her in half, you know? Then they walk away like gangsters, like, you see that shit? 
We just freaking rock that bitch and then walk away. Oh, you know, gangster walking out. It's just one of those things. And see, it wouldn't have been as funny to me when I was playing it because I would be incredibly angry right now that I have to do this again. And now I'm watching it and I find it incredibly funny. But like I was saying, I understand the difficulty of the game. I mean, I'm still playing it. Um, I have not played it since I filmed this though. Uh, mainly because I have other things that I enjoy playing that I wanted to put on the channel. Um, which by the way, uh, while I have a second, which I have all the seconds until this video is up, I wanted to say uh, thank you to everybody who has liked or subscribed or commented or done whatever um, on the channel. I really appreciate it. This is something that I like to do for fun. Maybe one day I'd like to make it a job. Let's see how funny I can be on here. I don't know. Uh, it's, it's really odd. Uh, I've been told by several people I have pretty good comedic timing in real life, and then when I'm on here, I'm like... Well, it's the end of the day, and I've worked a full day shift, and, you know, had to come home and make dinner and do all that stuff, and so I get on here and I play games, and I'm not quite as lively. Um, now, I am recording this video, which has been amusing already, uh, in the evening doing the same thing, but I'm not having to play the game, and honestly, I just decided I would be ridiculous and talk about whatever I felt like. Um... Because isn't that the funniest thing when you just talk about random nothing? Just absolute nonsense. Kill him. Kill him. Do it. Do it. Kill him. Do it. Kill him. Do it. That's it. Do it. Do you hear those church bells? That's because for whom the bell tolls. I won't do the rest, you know. Uh, copyright stuff and whatever. I mean, hell, they went after Napster. Anybody else understand those references? Or are you too young for that? I don't know what age demographic played this game. I'm sure I could look it up, but I'm not going to. I don't hate playing it, but I'm so scared. Like, so I know, scared. Let me explain. Uh, and I'll get back to the car thing. I haven't forgotten. It's still up here. Just tucked away in the back of my noggin, just waiting to come out. But, um, like not having armor on, right? I know, uh, the one of the people that wanted me to play this plays, played Elden Ring and I watched them play it and their character wore basically Nothing like a pair of like Aladdin looking pants and then just The bandages on their chest and so they could be swift and agile and and uh, You know kill enemies and they were super angry and every time I saw them get past like a really Hard part of the game or kill a, a crazy enemy. I Was like how many more could there be? I have heard that this individual made it to the final boss. Mel something? Sorry, I could have looked it up. Melinda? Melina? I don't remember. Um, and I have not played Elden Ring. I thought about starting with Elden Ring. I really did. Because Elden Ring... Um, it hadn't been out too long before I, I started uploading to this channel. Um... I've actually had the stuff to film for a minute. I recorded some podcast stuff last year and uh, and have just been playing around and I wanted to do this and I actually recorded myself. I have a gaming laptop before I had this gaming PC that I built. Um, and on the laptop, I had recorded some stuff. What's that ringing I hear? It's the blacksmith. I have found the be wary of amazing chest. Well, you must be a new arrival. I'm Andre of a store app. I'm not gonna lie, his chest kinda looks like he has burns around both of his nipples. I assume it's supposed to be a hairy chest. Also, I did stuff there, like upgraded things, 
And then I just decided to cut it out because I have I, I never I don't know that it's great material to just watch people upgrade now. Now some people like it, but I did it in God of War too. Uh, I cut those scenes out. But I've thought about stripping off the rest of my character's armor to make them more swift so that they may kill and be more agile. I am not sure if I want to actually do that, however. Because, well, I just, I just don't know that I want. Because I like having a little bit of defense, but it's sort of like a red herring. It makes you slower, makes you more vulnerable, and you could take less damage if you could get out of the way. But I don't know that I'm going to be able to do that all the time. So that's what I meant by I was scared. I, like, I don't know. Trying to get away from that whole uh, changing the strategy for the game. Oh, look at this big guy. Come on, guy. Come on. Follow the pretty lady out. Oh, <laughs> pretty lady. The woman who lived come to die. Oh, I'm going to smash you. I'm going to smash you. Just the sounds it makes when he... Yeah. I think at that point I was like, holy shiz. This guy is going to beat me into the ground. And even though I'm defending, he still did exactly that. So... I've got to figure out, like, how, if I want to kindle up bonfires more, too, so that I can get more Estus flasks. Because there's no point in going back to a bonfire way back if you don't have to. Yeah, I don't think this is fair. Dead. Uh, you know. Muscles sort of dehydrated and deteriorating. Zombie person versus huge knight. I assume he is also dead though. Isn't everybody in this land dead? And the whole point is we're trying to get to that bell. That's all I know is get to the top of the church, ring the bell, and then go down to the city and ring the bell in the, in the lower city. I did not do that. Because I tried to make my way down there and got royally destroyed. And I was like, hmm, maybe not this time. But... I understand the point of these uh, versions of stuff like again I have played God of War on give me God of War I have not completed it I don't, I don't even think I made it halfway through the story because I was like oh, there's just no way like I mean I guess there is a way because people have done it when I saw the video of that guy there we go Ooh, look at that shit How'd you like them apples? The guy disintegrated like Thanos just snapped. He was all like, oh gosh, my body is falling apart. Blech. Anyway. Uh, but when I saw the video of that guy defeat the, uh, the Queen Valkyrie on Give Me God of War, I'm not, never, I would never even attempt it. I would just do the story on Give Me God of War. The hours and years of time and play you need to do that. I remember the first time I beat the Valkyrie Queen because it was the last thing that I needed to do to get a platinum uh, on the game. And I say the first time, like the only time. I never tried to do it after that because uh, just being able to get through the mists that are killing you to go fight a Valkyrie without dying. Uh, is ridiculous enough. And then, you know, all the trials of Mutzfelheim and everything there, it was just a huge pain. Sorry if you heard all that noise. The arm of my chair just decided to be all crazy. But, um, but just everything you had to get through to get to the Valkyries. And so I, I did everything else and I got to the Valkyrie Queen and I remember it took several sessions of being able to play because like I would get close. One time I got so close, a sliver of health and she pulled out some attack I've never seen before and just obliterated me right at the end and I was like, 
and I felt a blood vessel about to explode out of my neck. Have you seen Kung Pao under the fist? That scene where he's like, ah, and then it is his, uh, his arteries just explode and shoot blood out of his neck. It's just amazing. Um, it's like, oh yeah, all this, ah, and I thought I was gonna die. So, uh, with anger or like stroke out from the anger, that kind of thing. I guess I just wanted to refill my Estus flask. I don't know why I'm here at this bonfire right now. Yeah, so doing all these things to 100% is for somebody. It's not for me. I am a casual and competitive gamer depending on the game and Dark Souls is not that game for me. It's also, I like games that have a story. I haven't really developed any story. It's so slow. Like the pacing is just not there for me. So I got to figure it out. Sorry about all the lines in the, in the video as well. I, I don't remember if it's because I haven't, I didn't change it yet down to something less, uh, as far as like video quality goes, but, um, cause I think I'm going to lower everything to 30 frames a second, which is, I believe YouTube's natural thing anyway. So it, it doesn't matter. So here I sit, in quite a pickle, weighing my options, so to speak. <laughs> I mean, I like that guy's voice. It's just also sort of weird to hear somebody say something like I'm stuck in a pickle. In this world, I don't know why. It just felt kind of that line felt out of place for me. I'm not a souls expert, so it might be completely on brand. I got no idea, but, uh, yeah, I like to enjoy the games that I play and give good insight on it or how I feel about some, or if I know a lot of stuff, like I've been seeing tons of stuff on this whole, will Kratos be able to pick up Thor's hammer in the new God of War Ragnarok? And it's like, why wouldn't he? That's a Marvel thing. That's not an actual Norse lore thing. A real Norse lore. There have been people that stole Mjolnir. So I just think that's a little crazy. It, it means that what people know of something is based on pop culture and not based on like the source material. But I actually have a book my brother bought me and uh, upon the other ones that I've, I've read that talk about the different mythologies. The Norse mythology is interesting. Man, look at that. Just one hit obliterated. It's craziness. Oh, I guess I never got around to cutting this last bit out. Well, that's the first death scene you're going to see, but it's only going to be about 13 seconds long before I respawn. All right, guys, we're going to call it quits there. Thanks for watching this Dark Souls playthrough. I said that I'd finish the thing about cars. Basically, Japan gets a whole bunch of other really cool cars that we don't get. Little turbo things, small engines, very small little K cars, cute little, little bitty things, which would be great for metropolitan areas, that kind of thing. Would help with transportation, gas mileage, whatnot. But for some reason, uh, they don't let us have that kind of stuff over here. Uh, we have to import it after 25 years, which is an interesting law, and you should go look up that and and uh, try to figure out why they do things that way we do it with our own stuff too it's very weird but regardless i'd like to say thanks for watching uh like and subscribe if you like this content and you haven't already if you don't like this content and you have to part ways now well either way i'm glad you were here but say you have a friend a buddy a grandma grandpa aunt uncle dog child doesn't matter what you have but they might like this content, go ahead and send them my way. I'd love to have them on the channel and, uh, and subscribe so they can watch this content too. I'd like to see it grow. Uh, other than that, I'd like to wish you a wonderful, 
beautiful day. I hope that anything that you're going through that's a hardship will pass and you'll be better to get through it. Um, I know times are hard for everybody right now and I hope that they get better for you and everyone else. But until we meet again next time, peace. I never ran to the no man, I still go, go.